These are the things that you don't know about fatherhood until you become a dad. Trust me, I know. I've got two kids of my own. Before I tell you what those are, I know most of you guys who are watching these videos are not yet subscribed, so take five seconds, go down, hit the subscribe button so you get notifications every time we drop a new video. So, some things they don't tell you about fatherhood before you become a dad are, you will have to become a master of not taking things personally. No matter how hard you try, your house is always going to be dirty. You will go long periods of time without having sex or sexual intimacy with your partner. Not every problem that occurs in your household needs you to create a solution for it. You definitely won't hear thank you for everything that you do for your family. You will value sleep more than you ever have before. Your close friends group is gonna change, especially if they don't have kids themselves. You're gonna have to work harder to make time for yourself than you ever have before. The biggest thing that I didn't know about fatherhood before I became a dad was that I was gonna have to become the person who was always looking out for my own needs. It's logical. My wife had to look out for the baby, and with, every, with whatever was left, she had to look out for herself, and I had to look out for both of them, so who was there left to look out for me? It was me. <laughs> And I didn't know that, I didn't expect that. I was still pretty young when I had my first kid. I was 28 years old, and I was still learning how to take care of all of my needs. So everything else that I just listed about what you need to know about fatherhood is things that I wasn't aware of when I became a dad. It, and I heard people say them. It's one thing for you to hear me say this, but you're not gonna really understand it until you become a father yourself. You're not gonna really know how challenging it is to stay in good shape, to eat healthy, to get rest wherever and whenever you can find it until you're in that situation. You're gonna to have to be more resourceful than you've ever been in your life before because the resources are being directed into your family now. All the time you used to have for yourself, the weekend getaways, the time with the guys, there's sacrifices that need to be made so that we can take care of a family. And I know I wasn't really prepared to step into that fully. Even though I had really great men around me who kept telling me exactly the same things that I'm telling you, I didn't really understand it until I got into it. So the purpose of this is for me to be one more voice that's reminding you of the things that are gonna happen once you become a dad. If you're already a dad, you probably know these things. If you are a dad, then let this be a reminder that these things are important, that you have to be the one looking out for yourself. And if you're not a dad yet, then it's never too early to begin taking care of your needs. Get lots of rest, create good habits, be exercising and preparing yourself to enter this new chapter of life that's gonna present more unknowns than you probably have ever had in your life before. And if you do that, then you're still gonna fall on your face. <laughs> you're still gonna have moments where there's gonna be poop on the floor and you're yogurt all over the table and you haven't worked out in a week and you're, and you're still gonna have to find a way to come back to your center. So if you're not a dad yet, if your child hasn't arrived, then now is a great time to build in these good habits. Make it a habit of taking care of yourself now before more responsibility ends up on your plate. Start working out regularly, start exercising, start meditating, getting sleep, taking care of yourself, eating healthy. It's one of the most important things to do to prepare for a child, is to build up those energy reserves, but most importantly, to build up those habits of taking care of your needs. Even just being able to listen to what you need and checking in with yourself with what you need is an important practice. Now, if you're already a dad, and you're already in the chaos of new parenthood and raising small children, because let's be real, it's a hurricane, then start with just one simple thing. What is one simple thing that you can commit to doing that's gonna help you take care of yourself? Even if you just start with going out today and taking a 30 minute walk to clear your head, making a practice out of that, or sitting down in silence for 10 minutes a day, ask your wife for that, ask, somebody who you trust to watch the children so you can take care of yourself for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever you can carve out. Be creative. Find ways to get those little pockets of self-care because that's what's going to make it easier for you to show up for your family. Trust me, I've been there myself. If you don't do these things, you will implode. You can only hold up and sustain it for so long. So don't wait till it's too late. Make that happen, take care of yourself, because taking care of yourself is more than just taking care of you. Ultimately, it's taking care of your family too. And so if you made it this far and you watched it all the way through, make sure you go down here and hit that subscribe button so that you get updates every time we drop a new video.